So welcome to the lecture on application of MATLAB in automatic control. In this lecture we will discuss about state space method, how to use MATLAB to solve the pro problems related to state space method. So we have already discussed that a state space method is a time domain, uh, time domain method that is applicable to a system that is time varying nonlinear systems and we can write the state equations and output equations for a system to model any system. So state equations we write like x dot equal to a x plus b u and y equal to c x plus d u. Here we know that different type of matrices A, B, C and D. Uh, we discussed in the lectures of week 7 about state space and how to transform from transfer function to state space, how to transform from state space to transfer function, then how to design a controller and how to determine, determine the controllability of a system. So, these uh, uh, aspects we will discuss today with numerical problems and how to uh, solve these problems in MATLAB. So let us uh, start. Here we have a problem here that transform the given transfer function into the state space representation using the MATLAB. So we know that the transfer function uh, a system is represented at as output upon input in the h domain. So that is given 10s plus 10 by s q plus 6s square plus 5s plus 10. So we have this system 10s plus 10 by s q plus 6s square plus 5s plus 10. So we will write uh, the MATLAB code so here so this transfer function 10s plus 10 so we define this numerator equal to so we write the coefficients of t uh, s 10 and then 10 the constant term so then denominator then equal to so this is s q plus 6 s square plus 5 s plus 10 so the coefficients are 1 6 5 and 10 so we will write 1 6 5 and 10 so we define these two variables now we want the a, B, C, D. When we say the system in state space means we are interested in these four matrices A, B, C, D and so A, B, C, D is T, F to S, S and then we have num and then so so here we can see we first define the transfer function with the numerator and denominator and then here we use the command transfer function to state space so tf2 ss that is the command defined in matlab and we give the numerator of the transfer function and denominator of this transfer function and so we will get this four matrices and once we get four matrices means we got the state space model x dot equal to x plus bu and y equal to cx plus du. So we enter we got these matrices. So we got this matrix a minus 6 minus 5 minus 10 1 0 0 0 1 0. So 3 by 3 matrix. Uh, because the system is of uh, third order s cube in the denominator so we got third order matrix b is 1 0 0 c is 0 10 10 and d is 0 
so now we solve this problem one now we come to the problem next problem that is problem two so here generate the transfer function for the system given below and find the eigenvalues of the system so here we see this system is given in state space and we have to find the transfer function for the system so here a matrix b matrix c matrix we are given d matrix is zero because it is not given so how to solve this in matlab so here uh, we have to write this in matlab so here we do clc so now we define this matrix a equal to so the first row that is 0 1 0 then second row 0 0 1 then third row minus 6 minus 11 and then minus 6 so this is the matrix A matrix B is equal to so 0 0 and 6 and then matrix C equal to 1 0 0 and matrix D equal to 0 so we define these four then we uh, we use the another command that is state space to transfer function so <coughs> we will get num then variables of the transfer function that is equal to ss to tf and that is a b c and d so we got num and then so here we can see it is 6 and the this denominator coefficients are 1 6 11 6 so we can also find the transfer function if we write tf num then so num then so we can get the transfer function and this is 6 by sq plus 6 s square plus 11 s plus 6 this is the transfer function so we have converted the system from uh, state space to transfer function by using the sh to tf command and now we want the eigenvalues so eigenvalues of in state space is we are we try to find the roots of the matrix a because a is the system matrix and this shows the represents the the poles of the system so we write simply the r equal to eig eig means we use eigenvalues of system matrix a so we get here the roots minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and the same value we can because these are the poles of the system same value we should get also from the transfer function and so if we give the command pole tf because this is a transfer function tf or sorry so here we have pole tf num den so if we do pole tf num comma den so the transfer function is also another this this is the same system so we should also get the same pole so here also we are getting minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and here also minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so both the state space and transfer function models are giving the same poles so now we come to the problem number 3 so here generate the transfer function for the system given below so we have this state space model but here we can see is the are the two inputs e1 and e2 earlier we had here only one input u 
but now here we have two inputs u1 u2 so we have to obtain the transfer function now we know that when we have two inputs the transfer functions will be four because the output is y1 and y2 so one transfer function with respect so two transfer function with respect to one input so y1 s by u1 s y1 s by uh, y2 s by u1 s and then y1 s by u2 s and y2 s by u2 s so there will be four transfer functions so let's do this in matlab so here close all c l c so now we have to define this matrix a equal to 0 1 minus 25 minus 4 so this is a matrix then matrix b we have 1 1 0 1 then matrix C 1 0 and 0 1 this is matrix C and matrix D, D equal to 0 0 0 0 0 so this is the matrices out of the state space model we have defined now we want to get the transfer function so let's say num1 comma then 1 equal to ss to tf here we have a b c d and 1, 1 means with respect to input 1 so we are getting here you see we are getting these two numerators and one denominator so this is s plus 4 by here s square plus 4 s plus 25 and this is minus 25 upon s square plus 4s plus 25 so these are the two transfer functions with respect to first input now we come to the second input so we can write here num2 then 2 and this is with respect to the second input so this is 2 and we will get here so s plus 5 upon s square plus 4 s plus 25 and then s minus 25 upon s square plus 4 s plus 25 so we can uh, compare with respect to the earlier so we have four transfer functions we because there were two inputs so two transfer functions for each input so now we come to the problem number four so this problem is that we are given a plant uh, design the phase variable feedback gain to yield 9.5 percent overshoot and a settling time of 0.74 second so we have the transfer function gs 20 s plus 5 upon s s plus 1 s plus 4 so this problem in theory was discussed already in the um, lecture in when we discuss state space in the seventh week the last lecture that is the seven lecture seven five so theory theory it we discussed and we discussed this problem now in matlab we have to solve this problem so we will here discuss about this problem 
So, here we have 9.5 percent overshoot and settling time TS is 0 0.74 second and we have GS equal to 20 S plus 5 upon SS plus 1 so we saw that in phase variable form we used the we designed the feedback gains k1 k2 k3 so that was uh, able to change each parameter of the system to give this desired response so now we go here So here first of all we will define the numerator. So numerator here equal to 20 into 1 5. So this is the numerator because numerator is 20 s plus 5. So 20 into s 1 means s plus 5. So we define numerator now denominator d e n g equal to so it is a polynomial with here the coefficient of polynomial are s that is 0 minus 1 minus 4 these are the roots so 0 and minus 1 and minus 4. So, this is the denominator. Now we get the transfer function g equal to tf that is numg comma then g. So, you see we got this transfer function 20s plus 100 by s cube plus 5s square plus 4s. So, this is the transfer function now we say we give the percent over suit pos that is equal to here we have 9.5 so because this percent over suit we are get giving 9.5 and settling time we want 0 0.74 So give this settling time. So we give these values. Now we want to calculate the damping. So damping equal to minus log pos by 100. So percent over shoot by 100 by a square root So here we use this formula minus ln percent over shoot by under root pi square plus ln percent over shoot by 100 square. So we get the damping. So here if we want to know the damping we are getting about 0 0.6. <coughs> now omega n that is the natural frequency we will get 4 by so z into ts 
so we will get 4 by because natural uh, frequency we get, we can get by 4 by z zeta into settling time so we get this natural frequency that is 9.0147 now we are going to define a second order system that is omega n z so with natural frequency this and damping this we are going to get a second order system so that is the desired pole location of the complex poles and r equal to roots of denominator so this will give the poles and we can see these are the poles so these are the desired pole locations to obtain the given settling time and percent overshoot now we want to give the uh, put the third pole so because there is one zero at five so we decided to put the third pole near to the zero so that the zero can cancel pole can cancel the zero so there should be cancellation so we put the third pole at 5.1 minus 5.1 so we get poles that is poles equal to here r1 so r1 is this pole minus 5.4 plus 7.2 i then the second pole is r2 r2 and then the third pole is minus 5.1 so here minus 5.1 now we want the the desired ca characteristic polynomials with these poles so cd equal to poly poles so this is the polynomial so s power 4 plus this s cube plus this s square plus this value that is the polynomial and we can find the values of state space matrix so we convert from transfer function to state space for this earlier system num z and then g now we define because uh, what we are getting here this state space we have to convert into the phase variable form so phase to transform from a state space to phase variable so that is this is canonical form and we have to convert into phase variable form so we need a transformation matrix so here p equal to we define a transformation matrix 0 0 1 then 0 1 0 then 1 0 so 0 so this is the P the transformation matrix now we will define the phase variable of this matrix
so here we convert it from canonical form to a phase variable form these matrices and now we will apply to find the feedback gain parameters k1 k2 k3 for this form so kp equal to we use ACKER command for this so this command this is APBP is this matrix and poles are these desired poles so in order to achieve these poles what will be the feedback gain parameters case that should be applied in this AP and BP to change these to these poles so these are the gain parameters 414, 132 and 10.9 so now we have with these gain parameters we have the new is AP minus BP into KP so we know that the new A matrix is A minus BK for this feedback with this feedback gains and then we have so other matrices are the same so BP new equal to BP CP new equal to CP and DP new equal to DP now so we want this to convert into transfer function so num t comma then t equal to ss to tf ap new comma b p new comma c p new comma d p new so these are the this and so t equal to the transfer function tf with this num t and then t so we can see the transfer function with this feedback gains so these are the changed coefficients of this denominator characteristic equation and so if we see the step response so step t so we can see this step response of this matrix okay so here I think uh, we designed the we designed the state space feedback gains so that the system earlier system that is 20s plus 100 by s cube plus 5s square plus 4s can 
give this percent overshoot of 9.5 and settling time of 0.74 and so here we first find the desired poles r1 r2 and we put the third pole at minus 5.1 so that we can cancel the zero and then we found the state space canonical model matrix a b c d and then we convert it to phase variable with using the transformation matrix and then this phase variable form because in phase variable form we could apply this command to find the a and b matrix for desired poles so the value of feedback gains that will give this desired poles location. So once we find the k, the new matrix will be a minus b into k and other matrix will be same and then this is our new transfer function this that will give us the desired characteristics that is in the response. So now we come to the last problem that is given the system below determine the its controllability because we discussed about controllability so this is the system minus 1 1 0 0 minus 1 0 0 0 minus 2 and 0 1 1 so how to find this let's uh, try to find so we So we define this matrix A equal to minus 1, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 2. So this is A matrix and the B matrix equal to 0, 1, 1. So this is B matrix. Then we have to calculate the controllability matrix with in MATLAB with simple command that is CM equal to CTRB. CTRB gives you the controllability matrix and we give only A and B here and we got this controllability matrix then we can find the rank of this matrix rank with rank command so r a n k c m and so rank we get 3 so we know that this system matrix is of order 3 a and rank is also 3 so this system has this is controllable because it it is equal to the order of the system matrix. So here we discussed uh, about state space uh, models and how to use MATLAB to solve the problems in state space. So I thank you uh, and uh, this is the last lecture of this course. So I thank you uh, for this lecture and I hope that you will learn several things that will be useful to you in the control and design of control system. So I thank you very much.